Tasmanian Premier Jeremy Rockliffe has declared victory in the state election despite the results heading towards a hung parliament. The Liberal Party is projected to win the largest number of seats but will rely on crossbench deals to reach the 18 seats required to form a majority government despite his party suffering a nearly 12% swing. Mr Rockliffe claims Labor were not very successful. Tasmanians have not voted for a change of government. Make no mistake, this has been a very poor result for the Labor Party of Tasmania. And I will seek a new government to form a new government to give Tasmanians the, the certainty and the stability that they deserve. Labor's primary vote marginally rose by 0.4 per cent. Opposition leader Rebecca White has yet to concede defeat, believing her party has a path to form government. It is very likely that Tasmania will continue to elect minority governments, particularly with a 35-seat parliament. We'll wait to see how the dust settles and for the final results to be determined. And Labor will be ready to work with the parliament to implement our agenda and our plan for a better future for Tasmania, if that is the will of the people. The Greens were one of the big winners on the night, expected to pick up five or six seats, while the Jackie Lambie network is projected to gain at least three. As Lauren Evans explains, it could be some time until the results are all clear. After a long election night, Tasmanians are no closer to finding out who will lead their state. The days of political instability and negotiations are far from over. After both leaders claimed victory and a mandate to govern with crossbench support. I was born here. I'll always live right here in Tasmania. And I thank each and every Tasmanian for standing up to be counted today. And I look forward to the next four years and I'm only going to get started. I'm only getting started right now, ladies and gentlemen. Appearing alongside his wife and three daughters, Premier Jeremy Rockliffe appeared first at Tasmania's tally room to declare a win. Despite a swing away from the government and falling short of the 18 seat required for majority. Today also looks like a fourth consecutive win for the Liberal Party. But Labor leader Rebecca White refused to concede. While Labor will win less seats than the Liberals, there is a possible pathway to power with the Greens and Independent support. Tasmanians. Tasmanians have humbled a Premier who called an early election expecting to be returned in majority. Tasmanians have clearly voted for change. The Liberal Party is likely to rely on the Jackie Lambie network to form government, but the firebrand senator is hung up on one issue. That is bull about that stadium. That is bull OK, let's get that down pat right now. We're all always going to have an AFL term eventually, and we've got one. But dictating to us to have a, have a roof over a stadium when we don't have roofs over people's houses, roofs over people's heads down here is just rubbish. If Jeremy had done this properly and didn't hide all the detail and had been transparent, we wouldn't be discussing this. The increased House from 25 to 35 members of Parliament has seen the crossbench increase, while the Greens have also made ground. Just like the fate of the next Tasmanian Parliament, Hobart's controversial AFL stadium future also remains uncertain. We know having a love of football doesn't equal, have to equal support for a stadium. The counting is expected to take longer this election due to the increase in candidates. And under Tasmania's Hare Clark system, we may not know the final outcome for a matter of days or possibly weeks if negotiations stretch on.